we got this thing we want to do with you, man. It's called halftime. Okay. And we're going to hit so. you with some quick hitters before we jump into uh, your, your Hollywood life. No. So uh, I'm going to hit you with some I'm going to hit you with some questions. AG going to hit you with some questions. So let me jump this thing off with this one. Um, I'm going to say some shows, and you tell me which one that you are watching. Okay. Family Feud or The Price is Right? Uh, What's the third option? (laughs) (laughs) There it is. We're going to move on. There it is. <laughs> no, I feel like, like I love I love the idea of like sitting down and watching a game show. That sounds like amazing, but that's just not what life looks like right now. Like two kids and all the sports and all the stuff I'm trying to do with work and trying right. to be a decent guy. You know, it's just like it's there's so much I would love to sit down and watch both of those. Like back to back maybe. I got you. Just, yeah, it just doesn't fit in right now. <laughs> I got you. Well then I'm gonna bring it home yeah. and make it look closer. <laughs> Original dynasty or the new dynasty. I think it's interesting. I, I think the original, because um, uh, it was just it was kind of the first of that like shock and awe TV yeah. where it's like that first kind of for me what you know just uh, for myself uh, feeling like I got to like, tune in next fall and and was not allowed to watch TV in, <laughs> in my house growing up. Um, wow! So that's probably why I moved here. Like I showed them, but. I, because my dad was a professor and was like, read. If you have free time, you read. If you're not reading, you're outside working on your game or whatever. So, mm-hmm. um, but Dynasty was something that my my mom was just into. So it was like, I guess I'm watching this. But Absolutely. oddly, like you know, so but it was yeah. So into those kind of plot twists. And uh, I like that. Yeah. Yeah. It was like that for me too. It was like that for me too. Yeah. The original Mission Impossible or the Six Million Dollar Man. <laughs> Come on, Jason. Come on, Jason. I mean, I feel like Cruz does his own stunts or wants everyone to think he does, which I respect. So I think that, I, don't, I mean, and the franchise alone, this is, yeah, there's like it's huge, it's huge. A lot of them, but. Um, but you, you didn't want to be the bionic man? I mean, yeah, yeah. But yeah. what? <laughs> but like I said, like I managed maybe my expectations of what I could. I, got like, you. I can't do that. So I guess yeah. why? I got you. Why even go there? <laughs> right, 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 right. Yeah. I, feel you on that one. I feel you on that one. All right, let's bring a little comedy into it. The right. Jamie Foxx show or Martin? Oh man! <laughs> Martin is so good, so sharp. Yeah. But Fox yeah. like did everything. I mean, I yeah, feel like if you loved like that sharp quick, it's Martin. But if you wanted to watch someone just sit down on a piano and be captivating, or be dramatic, or be funny, or be whatever, it's Fox. You know, it's just he's so versatile and well rounded. Uh, I think man. Fox. I gotta say, triple Fox. threat. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure. triple threat, man, triple threat. Yeah. And my, my last one, man, Succession or Billions? Succession, right. <laughs> like, kind of, right on real quick, one. yeah, for sure. Like, I, I think just and billions, I think does it in a really, really great way as well. But uh, the ability to get you to root for and like the most despicable, mean spirited yeah. people on the planet and feel for them mm-hmm. and like root for them yeah. as a writer mm-hmm. is just so compelling and um, is such a difficult thing to balance and do. And that cast draws you in in a way where you feel for them it's it's uh it's really amazing yeah yeah bi- billions not good no more is this axe went to jail <laughs> oh got it they got, you know axe gone got it. They cut axe well it feels like that's like what they were building to so i maybe don't have to watch it since yeah you, you just said what happens in it right so. right right <laughs> Maybe I'll see that one. Spoiler alert, spoiler yeah. alert, spoiler alert. Jason, yeah. rank rank these shows in order of your favorite. Okay. Narcos, Snowfall, Queen of the South, Top Boy, The Wire. I mean the wire. Top. Wire. And, and Brandon McLaren, who you guys talk to, is a very close Brandon friend J. of mine. Brandon J. Which is makes right. me want to put Snowfall farther down. But it's, <laughs> but it's hard to. Right, it's hard right. To do that. Uh, 
Um, I would say that second. And, and I like Queen of the South just because it was like, uh, I like stuff where um, it's out of the norm. And so the fact that yeah. it was a woman in a predominantly male driven cartel yeah. lifestyle that she's yeah. unapologetic, you know, just like unapologetically uh, who she is and uh, doesn't back down from anybody, I felt was really cool at a time where uh, that's more and more important, I think, you know, so um, yeah. I think that's in there. And maybe because I don't remember the other ones. Top Boy. That's just my top three. Yeah. That, the other ones with Top yeah. Boy and Narcos. And Narcos kind of similar, I think, to why I like Succession. So maybe those two kind of fall around the same. Uh -huh. um, but I love just like the ability to kind of drop into a world that I don't know and feel yeah. that it feels authentic and you feel like you're just riding next to mm -hmm. someone that you can't imagine what that life is like, but it just pulls you in a really cool way. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Who was your favorite character that you've written for? Um, not Brandon McLaren. <laughs> he's not Brandon very McLaren. difficult on set. Very difficult. No, he's, he's great. Like, um, it's interesting. Like, and truly, like someone like him is is like the best of it to me because it's someone who shows up prepared all the time and has real passion for what he's doing. And you know, I think a lot of times, like anyone's com not complaining, but like having notes on something or asking about something, it's kind of perceived as difficult. Mm -hmm. um, but to me, it's like it shows that you care about your performance and you want it to be what the writers were thinking what the director has in mind and so i think like um but he's someone who's like so professional but um um ellen pompeo just like uh from gray's was mm -hmm. fantastic like that that whole cast over there um jam kevin like um it, it's just that whole cast is amazing that they turn around each week and and make it feel compelling mm -hmm. and um it's such a great cast um yeah it's hard to pinpoint i don't know it's it's and me, like, I, I just love the process, I think. And so anyone that's, like, about that and not about drama and just about showing up and working hard, I'm with, for sure. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right, Red Ranger, you're getting a lot of love today. Yeah. Jason giving you a lot of love today. <laughs> I can't wait for my, like, it looks like we got posters and hats. Like, I can't wait for yeah. my swag to show up. Okay, yeah, guys, yeah, you're going to get, a, you're gonna get a swag back. I can't wait. get a swag nice. bag. Yeah, that'll be nice. Absolutely. What, <laughs> no, Jason, absolutely. what are your three shows you are watching right now? If you have time, when you have yeah. time. Yeah, I think, um, like I said, uh, Succession, just in terms of um, just like studying how they craft their stories and, and how they, I yeah, love that twists and turns you don't see coming. Um, and um, Euphoria. I feel like it's just like okay. so visceral. Like it, it, it's I like stuff that makes me feel like uncomfortable or happy in an extreme mm -hmm. way. And that show, it's just like you typically would cut out of a scene. And I feel like that show makes you sit there for another ten minutes through the rest of it, <laughs> where normally they would cut out. And it's just uh, that cast is so amazing, and just it was really I think informed the type of shows that I'm developing. Um, where you can take some that traditionally you wouldn't like in succession and uh, make you root for them or euphoria and like really not sugarcoat what kids are maybe going through today right. and not shying away from that real ex authentic experience because it's maybe objectionable or offensive or whatever it is, but that's what they're dealing with. Um, you know, so I like shows that approach that it, it, in that terms. I'm saying those like stand out for sure. I love that. I, I, how old are your kids? Uh, I just turned turned eleven and nine. This past eleven month. Yeah. and nine. Yeah. Um, I was gonna say I'm surprised that you didn't name a kids show because you know when you when you got you got young kids. I mean, those are on such a loop. <laughs> I mean, those if I liked any of those yes. at the beginning, that's gone. By now, for sure. Like yes, those, yes. like theme songs and like one-liners. That's all we hear now. So it's like, and just right. finding TV time, right? Like so, 
you know, you have a full house. It's just finding time to sit down and watch. And like I'm a sports guy, so like that's a little bit way to unwind. And it's hard to watch shows with thought and like turn off the brain and just kind of enjoy it without trying to figure out what they're doing or where they're going or um, trying to break it down. So like sports for me is like that that kind of uh, an escape. That's, yeah. that's that's where you 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 full time parents are still yeah. to, you know <laughs> minds are gone and grown. Yeah. So that's 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 you and AG. Yeah. So. Uh, mm-hmm. a director you like to write for and an actor you like to write for? Um, I like writing for Kevin McKidd at Grey's, uh, okay. who directs a ton of those episodes of the show and is obviously on the show. Um, but I love his approach. Uh, having done so many, still pushes to find creative ways to shoot a hallway <laughs> that's been shot for 18 years, that right. same hall, you know, so it's really, uh, we moved the camera in really interesting ways and, uh, was just like, so, so collaborative to work with and, and, and for, and, and kind of molding it as it goes. Mm-hmm. Um, he was always really, really great. And it's a handful of, of, um, men and women kind of that fall into that, uh, for me, I think after, Yeah, because you know what? I'm still trying to figure out <clears throat> how the hell on Graceland, the outside world don't know about this compound. I mean, <laughs> they're, very, they're very good at what they did. Like, very, what the uh, hell is going over at, at that beach house? <laughs> <laughs> and what's with all the guns? Kind of going yeah, in right, like, right. I'm uh, just walking and- my dog. I'm just walking my dog, Francis. <laughs> <laughs> uh, here's the thing like you guys ask for like my favorites but like i have to go back into the world and then right. get asked why I, they weren't someone i mentioned like that's like i, I still have to go back out there and right like, right and you're like hey <laughs> jason i seen you on the og podcast yeah. man what the fuck's up with yeah. that man i can't i can't name that but yeah <laughs> okay let's jump on your music yeah. jason who you listening to right now on your playlist um I like old stuff, like, like old hip hop. Like, okay. like, Your nineties, nineties hip hop. Nineties hip hop for sure. Nineties is the best hip hop. And even like, um, like fifty, like I like that, like in the two thousands, just like more of that old older stuff, I guess. Yeah. Which is funny because you'll be out like somewhere and you'll hear it now again. It's like uh-huh. hits you how old we are, or it's like it's mm-hmm. ironic now that you're playing this. And it's not that it's good, you know. So it's like it's funny that stuff comes back around, but. Um, and they're just like background, like I like background, like I'll, I'll write some music, but it's like nothing that is too distracting. Oh, okay. Um, throwing like some lo-fi beats, just like um, nice hotel music, probably. Mm-hmm. You know, just that that's in the background. Um, uh, so I'll do that a lot. And uh, yeah, I like there's minutes. a lot. There's a lot of Olivia Rodrigo in that. Like both my daughters mm-hmm. play. Mm-hmm. Um, piano and guitar and so i play guitar and so we'll, that's on repeat in the house a lot um olivia rodrigo so, so they're keeping me hip so let me tell you what i just heard uh-huh. ag he writing songs he got an album coming out short oh, that's sure. all i heard yeah, sure. I mean, you know dad manager yeah what he said i'm yeah. playing i'm writing and and he's recruiting his kids with I'm him that's right, right. Him. i'm tired <laughs> <laughs> i love it i love it yeah. Jason, give me your two most memorable theme songs from a TV show. Mm. I feel like Cheers was all like you know, Cheers Classic. and Seinfeld. Seinfeld for me was just like I feel like you heard that the bumble bump. It just you just knew it was gonna be a good time. Like and um just yeah, I, I click those two. Yeah. Let me let me tell you the one that I love the thing. I love the TV show, but I hate it when it used to yeah. come on. Mash, yeah, yeah, yeah. because it, it was always <laughs> on 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 Sunday night, right. and you knew it was time yeah. to go to school. Yeah. <laughs> um, I, it came on after the news, was, right? Right. <laughs> um, the the A team was dope. I thought that in like mm. and like the Fall Guy. Like I'm like a like uh, grew up. I think with all those kind of car driven shows night rider was dope like and so i think that kind of like a huge like like love cars and automobiles you know so i think 
maybe just growing up with all those. But I feel like those intros were so good. Mm -hmm. uh, with yeah. Fall Guy and Night Rider and all those. <laughs> <laughs>